Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 38 of Healing Good Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, what the? Oh no, this is, um. This should be like Chiyu's finale episode of what she wants to do for the rest of her life. But of course it's a big deal to you. You're in the newspaper. No. <laughs> hmm? oh. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. There it goes, that's better. Mm -hmm. Is that not what you want? I mean... Mm-hmm, exactly. Mm. Of course, this is going to affect her for the whole episode. Mm. Poor baby. Oh. It's really a hard decision. I mean... It's two things that you love, clearly. One's a sport and the other is a caretaker for your in. See, if it was me, <laughs> I'd get a notebook and I write down like benefits of becoming an athlete and benefits of keeping the in and compare and contrast with that. You know, I mean, that's the smart thing to do. I'm I'm just saying, but like who knows? Can you believe we're almost done with this? Like <laughs> if <laughs> just yesterday we started this show number one and then two it got postponed because <laughs> of COVID and now we by next week we only have a month left with the show and it's sad to realize that I will not have Ali Yuki in my voice anymore after this oh to see what he actually looks like I mean we're 38 episodes in and we ain't see that that's why I still believe like Daru's gonna be that final villain <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> you 
You gotta love the buff characters. <laughs> She's trying to choose between two things that she really, truly cares about at the end of the day. Yeah, because you're the oldest and it goes by, like, generation. Or really... Yeah, more generation, yeah. Think you can make that? Mm. Hmm? Oh, only. Oh, ping time. But see, we are, you know, she's stressing herself out over this. <laughs> oh, oh, gee. Mm hmm. I mean, it seems like it, but I think her desire to become both is stronger. She's at a crossroads, and, you know, everyone's like that. That's if even if it was switched. 
if she wanted the end more than being an athlete. How freaking bad that that dryer hits the wall. <laughs> hey, she can be like Hannah Montana and have the best of both worlds. I, I can't believe I even talked about that now. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unlike to you. Hmm? <laughs> I just want to know what he's going to do. That's the thing. I mean, he he leaves without, like, you know, saying anything about his plan. And we're going to have to wait until the episode concludes. I mean, I'm just saying. What, you going to use a fish to pollute the water? <laughs> no, you're going to use a surfer. Tell me they did not see that thing. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Did he just like surf on the sand? What the? Okay. Okay.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but do you always think, do, do you ever think of yourself? No. Huh. I mean, I get the fact that, you know, she has complete and total devotion to him. But, I mean, you know, that kind of... It makes me feel like she's not her own person. And she doesn't give an absolute F about herself. There are some people who are like that where it's like, this is what I want. This is what I care about. I don't care about myself in general. And so, I mean... You gotta care about yourself just as much as someone else or whatever, you know, I'm just saying. (sighs) So whoever these two are also bowling from, maybe we'll get to see that soon. Who knows? Because we're so close to the end of the show. (sighs) Yeah. Just remember, you need all four. Yeah, you know, Chiyu is just laying down right now. Take a little break. Oh, I thought she was going to punch him. But, okay, kick's fine too. you can still like do both exactly and then later on when you think you only love one more than the other that's when you truly decide but because you love both so much mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, this hoe is like head over heroes in love with this man that she, yeah. Her her devotion to him is just so much. gonna break <laughs> okay
Yeah, but it's not time yet. Give it about like episode forty three. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, stop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it'll be a challenge, but you know, hey, she's up for it and she's going to do an awesome job. Okay, so for our final episode focusing on Chi, it wasn't bad. I We all knew that this was going to come, and I'm glad that we got it out of the way. Now I'm wondering how they're going to end um, Nadoka and Hina, especially Hina, because I feel like Hina has gotten now the least focused. In, I mean, she's gotten moments. The last episode was like her with that homework situation, but to me, that... <laughs> <laughs> that didn't really help with what she wanted to do. I mean, she only wanted to do it so that she can go to the same school as everybody else. I get that because she wants to stay with Nadoka and Chiyu forever. I get that. But I'm like, what the freak do you want to do for your the rest of your life as a career and such? Because by this time, if I can think of like almost any other series to a pretty girl, to compare to this season, normally everybody already has their answer by now. Or, or maybe in like the next two weeks. Because something tells me they're going to go on break next Sunday. And then they're going to come back the Sunday after. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It was good though. I liked it. And I'm happy that she's going to pursue both. Because in the end, yeah, you can have the best of both worlds. It'll be a little challenging, but I think she can do it. Honestly, yeah. We'll see. I mean, we know what's going to happen by the last episode. Hmm? What? Um... Whatever, y'all serious? I mean, we, we know next week is not the final episode because it's ending at 46 episodes. But um, you're telling me it's that simple. This is some Sailor Moon-ish. I mean, come on now. Like, you know, when eventually they found out that Queen Barrel's, like, kingdom, her dark kingdom was in, like, somewhere in Alaska or Atlantica or something? Atlantica? Atlantica. Yeah, Disney. Alaska and Ar- Antarctica. There we go. <laughs> um, and how it was so simple for them to like not really sneak in, but then you had the freaking I don't know what they're named in Japanese, but when the du- the old nineties dub of Sailor Moon came out, they were like the Doom and Gloom sisters, and one by one they all got killed and ish with the Sailor Scouts to step Sailor Moon until you know Sailor Moon turned into Princess Serenity and you know defeated Queen Barrel and also died. Yeah, okay, but <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be that simple. But I mean, honestly, we ain't gonna know until we get there. But before I end this video, let's talk about Tropical Ruse Pretty Cur and just more of the art and everything that got leaked and such. I think everybody looks really good. I don't personally have a favorite right now. I think if I did, it's probably the purple one because I love her aesthetic and everything and the way she looks. But my biggest thing is because I kind of assumed, I was like, oh snap, they might release like the Stayu list because I have like three Stayus that I would really, 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 really love to join this show. Like, um, 
freaking okay so i have to i have to say it by names and i okay so you have uh tamoyo kurosawa who currently as of right now for this season she's known for my best girl swindler nakadama drive um saya from um watering witch and then she also plays misaki slash michelle for bandere um then you have i don't remember her name it, it, it's Mika says VA from Attack on Titan because the, and the day I found this out, I, I was like, oh, like, please let this happen. Even though they're not really doing any more like all pretty girl all stars with like the whole entire group. Um, Cure Flora from Go Princess played best girl Annie for me. And, and so I like to freak about I forgot about that. And then the last person who I want, and this is only because she's really good and her and Aoyuki have worked together before it's um I don't even remember her name she plays Maria in Sympho Gear best girl Kyoko Kirigiri and Danganronpa and um Diana and uh Little Witch Academia but I feel like she might be too busy because next year she has Shaman King and then maybe whatever else she has coming out as well because we only know like to a certain extent they'll show like the look when you look at their list and see whatever they have for like coming into 2021 they'll show some things and that's why I'm like sitting here I'm like well you know they haven't shown anything for the pretty cute people yet so maybe we might get the seiyus no we haven't gotten the seiyus yet but like big big hopes big big hopes honestly but um over the weekend some people were pissed about the fact that there is not a dark skinned character for it, especially because of the fact is we for the last not counting this season, but since um Star Twinkle Pretty Cure did it and then also Go Princess Pretty Cure did it, but it wasn't a cure itself. It was more of the prince that uh Cure Flora fell in love with and then Silly but Shirley were starting to get more representation into this series and such so many people went off on this show saying like they they need a little bit more of darker skin um people i mean this is also the same show that after what how many years they finally did um not like two same sex couples that was freaking kitty kitty pretty girl mode with you know mom and dad and then um hug it with uh the skater and his boyfriend and such and so i mean I've seen fan arts of people taking the art and just making it their own. They look really nice and it, the colors suit them, especially, you know, when you are a darker complexion like me. Um, but, I mean, it would have been nice. I, I get the fact or the reason possibly why they didn't do it and such. I mean, it's not... They're, they're, Total Animation isn't saying that we're, we're not going to do it and such. They could do it for their last cure whenever she pops up but who knows it's gonna be like a hidden and a miss but if it doesn't happen this next season probably the season after um tropical rouge pretty cure i mean i already <laughs> i already love how everything looks it's really really pretty and gorgeous i love the fact that finally freaking finally we're getting something that is something with mermaids because as a person who loved the crap out of mermaid melody and i was like you know what maybe one day one day we're gonna get mermaid melody pretty cure and this is it mermaid melody pretty cure except you know they're you know they're, they're not really mermaids but you know mermaids exist and maybe i feel like we might see um different uh ethnicity backgrounds for the mermaids i'm not 100 percent sure we ain't really gonna know until that first episode comes out and so that's gonna be in february which is still a long time away from now but i mean when it comes i think that's when everybody is going to make their first initial opinions on it their thoughts how they're gonna feel and what they're gonna do are we gonna get a little more backstory and such because right now we don't know nothing absolutely nothing we know like the names of the characters a little bit of information on them i i kind of wish that they gave us like maybe a preview of i don't remember the mermaid girl's name and the seal uh, is it a seal it's something it's a water type animal um yes yeah, a seal it has to be a seal <laughs> I, I just hope that we get a little bit more of the world. Maybe, like, I kind of expect that, like, 
not only the fact that this season this next season's gonna have to do with makeup i feel like we're going to maybe get like romantic-esque almost how like season one of pretty curious for tati guy and then you know we have can I get a pretty girl in love with mom and dad even though mom and dad didn't get married but you know we have that head cannon that mom and dad get ma- got married at the end of t- <laughs> can I get a pretty girl in mode I'm not sure but you know like I said we have to wait and see and I hate the fact that we have to wait because I just want it now and such but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction to you towards episode 38 of healing good pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all possibly next sunday if next sunday is going to be the next episode sorry Sunday, or whatever um for episode 38 happy holidays and i will see you guys all next time bye